Fear of the Night is a brand new 2023 horror thriller, more on the thriller side. And this stars Maggie Q. And it is about Maggie Q's character is a returning veteran who's dealing with some post-traumatic issues from the war and a drinking problem to boot. She is invited to her sister's bachelorette party and her and her other sister, who is also there, have conflict with one another going on. And while they are at this bachelorette party, which of course is in the middle of nowhere in a secluded area in their parents' house that they're in the process of getting rid of, uh, people show up and start killing people and Maggie Q needs to save the day. Um, so, okay. First things first, I think the most important note here is if you're somebody who doesn't like female empowered, all men in the film are presented as evil women, rah, 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 you are going to hate this movie. You're going to hate this movie for sure. So would I say that this movie is man hating? Ooh, I try not to be that guy. I really do. And, but I will say the film definitely leans in that direction. All of the women in the film, for the most part, are portrayed as like at least decent people. And every guy in the movie is either a complete buffoon, moron, or a male chauvinist, or a killer. Like, there are no female villains. All the villains in the film are, are, are male. <laughs> and every guy in the movie is worthless in one way or another. So it does feel very uh, feminist. So if you are somebody who's like opposed to those types of films, then absolutely don't watch this one. Overall, what I did like about the movie, I will say. Overall, I didn't love the movie by any means. I thought it was okay. And the thing I did quite like about the movie is that the characters, the female characters, because the male characters are just one dimensional archetype, men all suck, women are the best, whatever. Um, but what I did like about the, the, the women characters, the actual characters, is that they felt pretty genuine. Um, some of them are unlikable as far as like their personalities. If you know, you're know you opposed to certain types of personalities, we all are, we all have our biases and some of them are, are definitely more annoying than others, but they did feel genuine. And the thing I did really like about that, the dynamic is, is the way that they played off of each other felt pretty real to a stressful situation. So when they're interacting with each other, the people who I feel like would be butting heads and the things that they would say and the way they would react, that did feel genuine. And the film also never tries to be too unrealistic, except for it's in portrayal of, of men, because not all men are shit, contrary to popular belief, I guess. Um, but outside of that, I feel like the film doesn't ever really try to be overly unbelievable. You know, it is a ridiculous situation that very few people would ever find themselves in the middle of. But putting the like theatricality of that aside, what I mean is by the characters themselves and how they how they like take on situations. Right. So Maggie Q in this movie. She isn't superhuman and she's not doing anything that is unbelievable in the film. Right. She uses her intelligence. She uses her her military knowledge to be able to take these guys out. And it's not like they come up with some master plan. It just feels like a, a real plan that someone who could think on their feet could come up with. And there is a lot of infighting about it. And ultimately, you know, they 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 kind of band together under under this plan. And I and I and I found all that stuff to be very believable. And I, and I really liked the realism of that stuff. You know, no, no character is doing things that are outside the realm of reality and in, in their decision-making or any of that stuff. 
you might not agree with it, but it felt genuine to how people would react. And so that was something I actually did quite appreciate. So, so the, the realistic interactions, dialogue and choices that are being made and the portrayal of the women fighting back, right? That all felt actually pretty, pretty genuine. And so I, I liked that. My, my big problem, I guess, with the film is that I never really, okay, number one, the villains are super stock, nothing interesting, very one dimensional, throw away, not remotely like interesting or, you know, memorable as far as the aesthetics or the character or the acting or anything. It's just like stock, 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 right? Um, and the horror, there's like no gore. There's violence, but it's all off screen, blood splatter, that kind of stuff. And the film definitely leans very heavy into the feminist, you know, um, ideology, which, you know, which isn't terrible. I just, it would be nice to portray a man or two to be like, at least fine, at least pleasant. We're not all shit, right? But you know, it, the film does what the film does. I, I'm just saying, it's not that. I don't really care. I've, I've seen it enough. I really do wish it would didn't have to be like that. But I do I do appreciate the things that worked for me. Um, the ending, when everything's over, um, there's a conversation that happens. I thought that was okay, even though that portrayed two men as garbage and and the the two women in the room as as um, you know more heroic and 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 the good the good right versus the evil um so yeah because the movie does start basically letting you know about the uh fate of one of the characters so that's not really a spoiler um you just don't know anything else but yeah i i liked i liked the realism of it that's all right that that would that stuff worked so I, that's what made me enjoy this. I'm going to stop reiterating and repeating myself, but man, this is, this is a definitely, definitely on the toe in that line of man hating to, uh, to a big degree. And, uh, it is what it is. I guess my bias as a man, I can't look past it. No, I don't really care. All right, guys, let me know if you watch it. Bye.